How can we ensure a permanent power supply in industrial applications and power plants? To be honest, we all want to eat something warm at 12 o'clock, right? Without electrical energy, it won't be possible. Hello, and welcome back to the world of electrification and automation and the Global Submit 2022. This is the follow-up unboxing session um, from the General Circuit Breaker. My name is Luis Francisco, and today I have the pleasure to have with me Sebastian Schneider. Sebastian is the Product Lifecycle Manager for Generator and Transformer Protection at Siemens. As you won't be able to ask questions, this is a live session directly to us. So please type them in in the Q&A box. At the end of the session, then we'll have a Q&A session to answer your questions. So I would like here to welcome Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. Welcome, Luis. How are you doing? It's yeah. my pleasure having you here. Yeah, nice to be here. Hi. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, hey, let's start immediately. So what do you have for us in this unboxing event? Yeah, today I have the honor to unbox the new high-speed busbar transfer system, which is based on Zipotec 5. This device is the official successor of the Zipotec 4 7VU683, and mm -hmm. therewith we are completing the Zipotec 5 portfolio. I have <laughs> you a new device here, so... <laughs> Let's this see is, here. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. And, and what is the name of this guy? Yeah, the name of this new device is a 7VU85. Mm -hmm. And why you have selected that name? Yeah, um, this name is in line with the Supertech 5 series for the modular devices. Um, this device is also in line with that, so therefore we choose the 85 number. Okay, so 7VU85. So which applications then uh, can we expect to be addressed, performed with this device? Okay, yeah, especially for power plants and mm -hmm. uh, industrial customers, uh, HSBT device is necessary for an automatic switching of different income sources. Mm -hmm. um, there we can ensure a high availability. Okay, so you mentioned uh, that for power plant, can you mention, uh, can, can you share with us some of the use cases? I mean, which use cases did you have or again share about this technology in power plants? Uh, yeah, there are several scenarios, of course, mm -hmm. in a power plant which requires an automatic bus uh, transfer switching device or system. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one is the startup of the generator. Okay. Uh, before the generator is start up, you have to some motors have to be run in a power plan and uh, they got the power from one of the two income sources. Mm -hmm. Usually the plant is start up from the external power supply mm -hmm. uh, or external power sources. Um, the second use case is uh, the shutdown of the generator. Um, and for this, um, normally motors and pumps, uh, like for cooling, like in a nuclear power plant, for, of oh. course, needs to be run. So and in this scenario, the transfer is automatic, um, yeah, or the, the, the power supply is automatic transfer from the main source to the external or additional alternative source, of course. And the third one, for me, I think, uh, as protection engineer, is, is the, the important uh, use case is uh, that during a fault in the main source uh, or in the main incomer, we have to switch it automatically to the alternative source that the motors and uh, pumps are running um, in case of a loss of the main sources. Okay, perfect. Um, I mean, I can imagine that uh, on top of having application to the power plants, I mean, they may exist also application for the industrial side. So can you share with us some also of those cases? Yeah, why we need this for industry customers. Mm -hmm. And industry customers uh, have a lot of critical infrastructure, of course. Yeah. Um, because a power cut will cause a production failure. And in the end, huge losses. Um, so the continuous power supply is very important for most of the industry customers, especially for chemical or for petrochemical industry. Mm -hmm. um, we need an 
where we have an interruption of the power supply, uh, this caused financial losses and uh, problems with the production. It can happen mm -hmm. hours, if not days, uh, that the process is returned back to a normal uh, operation after an interruption, of course. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I was myself working once, you remember uh, that I mentioned that to you once, uh, to the mining industry. And there, uh, whenever we have one of these uh, start off of the power plants, I mean, that takes hours. So I can imagine how critical it could be having this device playing, you know, one key role on keeping things up and running, right? Right. Okay, so um, when are you planning releasing this new device? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. Good, good, good I'm question. Curious. <laughs> good question. Currently, we are in the development phase, so mm -hmm. uh, but the first release is planned for end of August. Um, okay. And if you want, of course, uh, early adapter, early pilot customer, please uh, contact me and send me an email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a call. That's a call. I have here. I have here another question. I mean, when compared with the previous generations, right? The Cyprotec Four. I mean, what is new? I mean, what exactly you are integrating in this in this device? Yeah, of course. Uh, when we deliver, <laughs> when we deliver, um, develop a new device, of course, then uh, we put something new in the, to, to that device. Of course. Yes. Um, new is the flexibility. Uh, which is well known from Zipotec 5, um, also for complex scenarios. Um, we focusing on the usability mm -hmm. in Dixie to parameterize different transfer groups, transfer direction, and so on. You find a lot of new tables in Dixie to mm -hmm. set up uh, the, the transfer directions and transfer modes. Um, we improved also the existing algorithm for the angle predicting especially for the fast and the real-time fast mode to be faster than okay. before, yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, a short interruption is, is, is better for the motors which is connected to the bus and we prevent uh, a large impact current and also uh, torque stress for the mm -hmm. motors when we switching to the alternative, alternative source. Okay, so I see, I mean, if I, if I look at everything that you already shared with us and, and our audience, so summarizing, I mean, we have a new product in the portfolio that is meant to address critical infrastructure, right? It could be either power plants or industrial applications. And I, I won't go to the use case because that would be too much for me for today. <laughs> okay. But I would like to ask you and any final thoughts on, on, yeah, from your side? Yeah, let me summarize some, some points. So um, the 7V, uh, 7VU is, is, is made to ensure an uninterrupted power supply uh, with different mm -hmm. modes. Prevent motors for large impact current, as I told. Mm -hmm. uh, provide easy configuration in case of complex application with many circuit breaker and um, bus couplers and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, provide the full flexibility because we have here a hardware platform which is modular. Mm -hmm. um, and we have this full flexibility for all applications and power plants and uh, industrial applications as well. Okay. Perfect. I mean, thank you uh, for being here. Uh, it's always a great pressure. Yeah. And now I would like to take on, on, on some of the um, questions. I mean, I think that uh, all those questions, I mean, I already looked here, uh, many of them. Uh, well, some of them are <laughs> interesting. So I want to uh, hear from AT. Uh, the, I mean, how this C protect device differ from other competitors. I mean, that's, ooh, that's it's a tough a, one. It's a tough or not. question. Yeah, we we are we we have the possibility with the C protect five platform um, to expand this device, mm -hmm. hardware and software related. So okay. that means we have the full flexibility to to um, to adapt this device to. The, every application if you if you like and mm -hmm. this with one device and not with several devices so this is i think this is one topic um which is quite new mm -hmm. yeah and um and of course we doing we doing some investigations before we started development 
um, and uh, have some workshops with the other with the other owners of um, <laughs> high speed bus bar transfer or transfer transfer systems, and we get all these requirements and we okay. combine all these requirements into that uh, into that the new device so that we offering a device which is I think which perfectly fits to all the applications what we know. Okay, great. Thank you for answering. Um, I have here a, another question. Um, this is from, who's this one? MR. How, how many circuit breakers are supported by this device? Um, is there a limit? I no, mean, no, <laughs> there is no limit. I think, um, okay, for the first release, we limited to 20 circuit breakers. To end this is a great <laughs> because because we have the possibility to, instan <laughs> to instantiate different HSPT function into one ah, device, okay, so okay. that the customer can play with it, so can instantiate different HSPT function groups mm -hmm. and can arrange different transfer modes or tri mm -hmm. different transfer tra no, transfer directions. Um, in the end, it. it it means it is a lot of effort for testing. So that's why the, the, the first, for the first release, we limited to 20, but I think with 20, we more or less fulfill everything what, you, what is known from the applications from the field. Yeah. I, I was not expecting that many. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me then, thank you. Let me go for uh, more questions. I see one here. I mean, it's mentioned in one competitor. So I'm saying a, a competitor is providing a solution with actual a 6MD85, so with a, a, with a PLC. Yeah. Um, I mean, are those applications also covered uh, yeah. somehow here? Yes, yes. So That I, one is very specific. This should be like, a, like a, an expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, as, I, as I told to you, we, mm. we have some workshops uh, in advance. Mm. Um, to get all these requirements, and uh, this solution was was well known since I think ten years, um, and the colleagues from the Siemens Energy was using was oh, using oh, that oh, uh, that solution. Yes. Um, exactly. So and now we covering everything with with that device. So and I think it is more mm -hmm. comfortable for the customer to 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 do the parameterization in mm -hmm. Dixie and uh, we had a fully tested devices uh, device which is coming from from one source and mm -hmm. um, I think it is a huge step into the right direction yeah yeah that's great <laughs> thank you I have one question from SJ and it says is it possible to include protection function as cost saving measures Yes, of course. So because the call, the whole functionality is also available. Yeah, not not the whole functionality. So we do okay. as a pre-selection, but uh, mm -hmm. most of the functions like uh, overcurrent functions, um, voltage functions, frequency, and so on is available in the device and also mm -hmm. in the, in the, in the Dixie library, um, and they can use it. So I think it is the same mix uh, mixture of uh, function. So like we have done in a 7VE in a power laning device. Mm -hmm. So and this, I think in the end, this fulfills everything. So okay. uh, and if some functions are missing, so we can add these functions <laughs> in, the next, in the next release, of course. Um, talking about next release, I see one uh, in that direction. Um, I mean, actually, you mentioned that is coming in August was. Right, the yeah, release? July, August. Ah, um, August. I, this is planned with the uh, version 9.30 currently. Mm -hmm. um, it can be shifted due to the summer holidays. Yes. So, um, yes. but uh, but but I'm yeah. I'm really sure um, that that we coming and that and that are, um, yeah specific time uh, with, the, with the first release. And I think you are asking for the second release. Uh, somebody, somebody, yeah, make that question. Is like, what is coming afterwards? Yeah, um, we planned uh, to have a second release and a third release, of course. Uh, in mm -hmm. the second release, we do some uh, improvements regarding the recorder functionality. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit um, a kind of usability. We integrate some new function groups for circuit breakers, um, mm -hmm. especially for circuit breakers where we do not measure the current. Um, so this is. Yeah, uh, this is a new requirement which is coming also from from other um, other departments um, where we have circuit breaker without currents. Uh, so only mm -hmm. for 
for, for status. Um, and of course, in the end, um, one big uh, requirement for the HSPT device is the load shedding functionality. Mm -hmm. um, some customers are asking for it. Uh, they want to jet uh, motors or the load on the motor bus before they, they, they initiate the trip or the, the, the transfer. Okay. I mean, I see here many, many, many questions. Uh, I'm going to pick an, another one. Uh, there's a question about if we can use it, uh, for example, in hospitals. I would expect that, yes. Um, but um, this one is for the applications that you mentioned. Is what should be the, no, this one, what is it? Is it possible to have it for double breaker bus arrangement? So two bus bar systems. This yeah. is SR. Is mm -hmm. asking that one. This is possible as well. So okay. we, we are quite flexible with the with the applications, and this is this is possible with the Cprotec Five platform. Yeah. So you ex can expand the hardware and also mm -hmm. the software in, in that device. So and therefore we have no limitations. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, it's always a great pleasure having you here. Uh, to all of you, thank you for the questions. I mean, there's more questions popping up, but we're gonna stop it here. And your questions will be, of course, answered afterwards. So thank you for your answer, Sebastian. Thank you, too. And for those uh, who are looking at this, remember, this session is recorded. So it will be available as soon as the session ends. And I would like you also to take the possibility and the opportunity to go to the expert booth in this conference. You can literally talk just as we're doing right now. You can literally talk directly with the expert for this wide portfolio in the electrification and automation business. So that said, this is all that we have for you today in this unboxing event. Thank you once again, and thank you all of you. Stay safe and healthy. See you soon.